Hello, my name is Marco Panier, and I would like to, to present you today uh, MN, Metanetics MNXREF, which is a unified namespace for metabolic models. In biology, uh, all biologists have a background in biochemistry and uh, have some notion of an idealized view of all possible biochemical re reaction and pathway. And for example, for a given organism, we know that a subset of all these reaction might um, happen in a given organism. From a bioinformatic and chemoinformatic perspective, there is nevertheless a big challenge. It's a database challenge uh, that consists in the problem of knowing how these metabolites and reaction need to be represented for a human and for a computer. And essentially the, the goal is to have all these properly connected for a single organism or across all organisms. The, the global picture is really uh, going through several layers. We, we have the description of the metabolites, um, which are related to chemical compounds described in terms of atoms. There is the expression of the biochemical reaction that these are equations with symbols, with metabolites as symbols. And the global picture is a genome scale metabolic network for a given organism, which is, really, which is the basis for metabolic model. Different databases have uh, attempted to capture and, and describe this world. And certainly the most famous of them is the Kyoto Encyclopedia of Genes and Genome. More recently, over specialized database have appeared to document in more detail the, the metabolite level, for example, for KB or the biochemical reaction for HEA. These two databases uh, being developed uh, in sync with that one to the other. But KB and REA do not cover the, the genome scale uh, part of the problem. Another resource, the big models, is, is certainly the historically the most important uh, and the major, a major contributor to metabolic models. Um, but also um, the big models have been expressed in terms of biochemical equation. And it's only very recently that uh, the chemical compounds have started to be uh, taken into account in, in the big models. Other database like KBase or MetaPsych are attempts to cover the whole range, uh, but these all these happens uh, at the code of at the cost of some idiosyncratic description of uh, this biochemistry. Uh, we can have a, a linguistic analogy here with all these different resources. The, the problem is the metabolites are expressed using their own identifier in every database. Uh, the chemistry might be slightly different and already at the level of metabolite, there is some difficulties to, to build links between the different databases. With the biochemical equation, the situation becomes more complicated. And if we go to the, at the level of the genome scale metabolic network, we end up in, in a situation where models published by different groups are very hard to compare and, and to, to, to reconcile together. And here, exactly, um, we can introduce metanetics, MNXF, 
which is primarily a multilingual dictionary for metabolite and reaction to link the major public resources related to metabolism. Very basically, for example, if you have two reactions in two databases, mm, MNXREF is built first by, by attempting to establish uh, identities between metabolites, which help to deduce that the, the reaction in the two databases are in fact the same reaction. What made the exercise uh, more challenging is the fact that uh, we are willing to deal with genome scale metabolic network. These are models, and here is a very, very simple example where you can see uh, the metabolism of an organism with the arrow representing the different biochemical reaction. You have something, you have some enzymic reaction, you have transport reaction, you have a definition of the growth medium for this organism, and you have the produce product of growth, the, the most important one here being the biomass. In addition to the description of the chemistry, uh, we can place on such a model the proteins that are responsible for catalyzing the biochemical equation and the transport between the different subcellular compartments. Uh, this cartoon network is very simple. Uh, I just put here on this slide two examples of um, models that have been published. And uh, the, the, the take-home message from this slide is, is simply that realistic models have most of the statistic by two or three orders of magnitude larger than the cartoon network simply to say that genome scale metabolic network are complex objects. Uh, there exists a, a range of uh, um, algorithm uh, that permits to simulate this model. And for example, a typical example is flux balance analysis that allows you to answer a question like, uh, can biomass be produced given the following growth medium? And the algorithm in that case will try to produce biomass. And in this example, you see it succeed. Starting from this basis, we can start to ask question about the different components of the model. For example, we can remove a reaction, run the simulation, say that biomass can still be produced and we reach the conclusion that this reaction is not essential. We do it again with another reaction. And in that case, we see that the model stopped functioning. We deduce that the reaction is essential and uh, such prediction are really important because they can be tested against um, experimental experiments. Uh, these models uh, are really unique, worth collecting, published for uh, regularly published for different organisms, but they are also fragile. Uh, typically 10 or 20 percent of reaction are essential in this model, which means the removal of any of them kill the models. So great care must be taken while manipulating, modifying the model, which is really the major constraint to meet during metabolite reconciliations. Here uh, is just a few numbers to, to show the different data sources uh, that appear in the latest reconciliation. And uh, you see the total number of metabolites is something like 1 million and about 10,000 of them are retrieved in model. And also we have slightly more than 10,000 reactions that, that appear in models. 
This full data set is di distributed in tab delimited and RDF turtle formats under CC by license. And it is certainly the, the, um, the way Metanetics MNX ref is, is most used by, by groups downloading the full data set uh, for their own needs. Uh, a few examples of third party application. Uh, first are the cross link between the different resources that uh, are now exposed um, in more and more third party websites. Another application is the memo tool, which is a, a, a program for standardizing genome scale metabolic model uh, into which um, metanetics I mean, XREF is playing a, a, an important role. And other application uh, obviously are uh, the formulation of new genome scale metabolic network. Uh, there, we, there are now a couple of application in synthetic biology, uh, typically in the uh, design and engineering of new biochemical pathway. And uh, eventually, the, the thermodynamics uh, of metabolism is, is of growing interest. At Metanetics, we are also proposing a website that gives access to some model to the, e, to the equation and to a range of information about the different metabolites. Here, for example, for alpha D glucose one phosphate, you have data on the chemistry of the metabolite. You have the, the identifier and name of these compounds in other databases. And we more recently um, introduced a graph that allow us to, to navigate easily among the different exos one phosphate. The RDF turtle distribution uh, and the sparkle endpoint of metanetics is also um, an access point that is more and more used. And another tool which is built on top of MNX ref, uh, which is MNX build, uh, that allows you to automatically build a genome scale metabolic network from an annotated bacterial genome. Uh, the development of uh, MNXREF and the website um, has been made uh, with many people, but I first like to acknowledge uh, Sebastian Moretti and also over time, many people and funding contributed to, to this project. Thank you for your attention.